when people saw listing of either searching for new game developers, specifically searching for action FPS developers with huge knowledge of Doom, Doom Eternal and other franchises. People instantly thought that they were working on new Doom game, okay? Now let's start in the beginning. How everything started actually. So do you remember leaks of uh, 2021 when Xbox era was talking about a uh, new Quake reboot leaks? Bring it back, bring back Quake, you know, even if it's a full reboot. So yeah, I've been told that allegedly there is a new Quake game in development. Um, I don't think it is just it, but the other thing I was told, it's uh, allegedly got a female protagonist. Cool. Uh, you for the series. A yeah. girlfriend for the Doom Slayer. <laughs> Maybe. Um, I don't know. So, so yeah, uh, and I asked, is it like, because you know, Quake 3 Arena was the multiplayer game, I said, is this single player, is it multiplayer, is it both, and apparently it's both going to have single player and multiplayer so it seems like it's a full on and then we were expecting uh, at least to see something of new quake at least a word you know on quake on 2021 so we saw on schedule let's the title was let's talk about quake in the end we were all disappointed and we saw quake remastered Okay, but I will talk about Quake Remastered a bit later. Now, everyone thought, um, those rumors were false, you know, it was a lie, but I can tell you that they were not lying, okay? I mean, Xbox era is known, you know, with those leaks, uh, so they exposed another leak, and then Fortnite accidentally showing Doom skins, including many others. We've had, Microsoft's had uh, the Gears characters, Microsoft's had Master Chief in there. I've been told that Microsoft is putting, there'll be more Microsoft slash Bethesda characters coming to Fortnite. Now I'm not going to spoil all of them, there's only one that I'm going to mention because I have a friend who's a massive, massive fan of this franchise and that is Doom. I got told that the Doom Slayer will be coming to Fortnite, now please. That, only that mistake has shown that Xbox era was actually uh, telling us the truth, you know. Again, why would they lie about a Quake reboot? I remember when Hugo Martin said on his stream, while streaming Doom Eternal, that Doom Eternal has a lot of stories to tell. Hugo Martin was also referring to Quake among his streams. We, we just have to see. I mean, again, there's Damn. the the Doom universe rolls on again. There there is someone must have made Devoth, hmm. you know, and and um and who is that that thing that entity? Uh, they got the makers going through the transfiguration, you know, uh, which basically there's an aspect of cosmic horror and Cthulhu. That I think, uh, come on, man, that's that's got to be a part. We're talking hell here. Yeah. You know, Cthulhu and hell, that those things go well together. So later last year, they started releasing Quake skins in uh, Doom Eternal, but I think uh, releasing Quake skins were kind of advertising Quake. But this is just my opinion. 
as I said before, I will return to uh, Quake Remastered. Same goes with Quake Remastered, you know. So I think um, Quake Remastered was a uh, kind of, you know, uh, getting back people to Quake to prepare for next huge title. The world doesn't need another hero. It needs a monster. <laughs>